Now then, geez, it's been a while, but we're back on the tubes and I thought, do you know what? We'll give you a bit of an update because the last time I was on here, I was a big lad at 105 doing powerlifting. Since then, shifted to bodybuilding, lost a shit ton of weight, dropped off that a little bit. We're still there, but I'm all going for the motions at the minute, if I'm quite honest with you. And I've sort of found, I mean, it, I mean, the clues in, in the pudding or, or the pack, shall we say. Getting into like, sort of the hiking, whether that be like getting up some mountains, did Snowden last. Working towards doing three peaks next year, my mate. And on top of that, just doing wild camping and a bit of bushcraft. I say bushcraft lightly, I'm dabbling in it. Just new interest and Charlie, just got to go with the flow and what sort of, what you find interesting at the time in life. I mean, nothing's too serious. I think in the past I've had times where I've gone a bit too OTT with anything that I get into, I sort of like burn myself out because I go 110% into it. And that's where I struggle is the balance thing, but None of us are perfect, are we? So anyway, I'm gonna take you on to my, this is my first solo camp ever, so. Not really solo, cause I'm bringing you in it. Uh, I don't fancy my chances with you, big lad. But let's be having it. So there's my path. And do you remember that kid's story? You can't go over it, you can't go under it, you've got to go through it. Well, we don't actually have to go through it cause you actually can just go around it. Yeah, that stuff's pretty deep to be fair. Medic, if you know, you know. Sorry lads, I'm not your dad. I've got nothing. <laughs> I'm absolutely bricking myself. Right, so we've come to a stage where it's gonna go tits up. So I've got to do this river crossing. Um, but yeah, I don't need any spare socks or spare shoes. So if it goes tits up, like I said, it's tits up. Yeah, I'm smug. Crossed it. Not sure if it are wet or just a little bit cold, but Slippy rocks there, stick came in handy like. Right, let's find somewhere to pitch. Oh, right, this will do. Spent a bit of time there, I crossed that river, didn't I? And then I spent 20, 30 minutes trying to get back over it. Uh, so I've got a wet sock, but it is what it is. So there's like a little river running down here. There's a bigger river down there, so you've got the nice, just soothing when you're trying to sleep, isn't it? Nice bit of flat ground, which is essential, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we haven't had a bit of a natter for a while, have we? So since I last checked in, tent so plenty of wood. We've got a fire pit. I've sort of dug the ground just a little bit so I can cover it back up and hopefully leave no trace. Cooking some stew now. Actually trying to cook with some wine. Mature me, you know, 30 years old now. Um, never done that before, so I thought, give it a go. See what it's all about. Right, I'm going to pretend I haven't opened this already. Oh, we're bubbling. Look at that. Oh, it's proper that, isn't it? Well, it's starting to get dark now. Probably doesn't look like it's you because of exposure and whatnot. Let me switch to this because you definitely couldn't hear that because the river was chirping on. But yeah, I've just had two servings of the scram down. I've got one more serving left, which I'll probably have before bed. Um, but I like this point of the camp where it's like, you've done all the hard work and you can literally just sit back and chill and enjoy it now. Like listen to the river flowing, birds chirping every now and then. Um, 
yeah, it's just nice. And then in the fire crackling, it's just relaxing, mate, relaxing. Um, also, river being there, hot water bottle is a must tonight because it's, it's getting cold. I can feel it. Oh my God. And one thing I did do on a camp a few months back with the family was use our drinking water to heat up for hot water bottles. I mean, rookie era, I know. But um, obviously when you have like natural water sources near you, use that for stuff like that. Please don't be doing a me and using like drinking water because, uh, well, I don't even need to explain it, do I? But one thing I do know, I'm be having warm tootsies tonight. <sighs> Right, we're in, lads. I'm going to take these off. Been working them all day. Working slash walking. And then we're going to slip these joggers on. Got thermals underneath as well. Hot water bottle at the ready, as you've just seen. And then we'll stick some Netflix on or some ting. Netflix and chill on my bill. Oh, it in, I didn't know it, mate. And we're in. So I'm trying out Mrs, my partner's uh, sleeping bag tonight because I normally take my own, which is, I couldn't tell you what it is. It was a hand-me-down, but... This is one of the uh, ex-military sleeping bags you can buy. And mate, they're decent. It's just a little bit too short for me, but still think it's slightly warmer than one I have. So we're going to try it tonight. And if so, maybe buy one on my own. But I do want like a like a down one because they just compact a lot smaller in your pack. And that's the only thing with sleeping bags I find so far. They just take so much room in your pack. Well, I wasn't going to bother, but I was watching some uh, telly and I thought, do you know what? Fancy hot chocolate, so we're going to have one. This is the thing with uh, camping. You think you're about to do something and then you realise there's something in your pack right at the bottom somewhere that you're not quite remembering where exactly you packed. Right, where were we? All right, so that boiled. It's a lot quicker than using a fire. And we've got ourselves a cheeky little Rington hot chocolate. Very snazzy. Cheers, Shill. Okay, me nan. A bonus of uh, using this in here as well is it sort of like works as a bit of a heater as well, doesn't it? For for a short term, for a short time at least. Um, but I'll take all the heat I can get tonight. Including this hot drink. Right, let's get it stirred and get back on with watching some So if I don't, if nothing mad happens tonight, I'll see you in the morning. Morning. Pretty quiet at night. Woke up at two o'clock. Just for a wee, really. So nice listening to that river. So still, there's no wind. So decent sleeping conditions. And this sleeping bag is 100% better than my other one. Just proper snug. It zips up real nice. The other one, I find that like, my shoulders slip out a bit. Just lose too much body heat. This is the hardest part as well of the camp because you've now got to deflate the mattress and come out of the warmth into the cold and get moving. That's the last thing you want to do. <laughs> oh, give us a minute. Right, the time has come. Oh, comfort's gone. These pillows are really, really good. And they fall pretty small. It's definitely worth having because you can sort of like release the air as to your liking. Do you know what I mean? If you get a pillow, a pillow's a pillow, but with these, I'm not saying this comfy as a home pillow, but you can sort of like, you want it a bit higher? Right, if you want you want it a bit lower? Just, just, just let some air out, lad. I mean, it's decent. Is this what a midlife crisis looks like? Yeah, the idea right now is to leave no trace. Leave no trace. I'm laughing, right, because I've done that many takes for this clip here. If anyone is watching, I'm going to look like a seal having a fit. Um, my hands are killing now because it's cold, so I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to get this one right. But um, yeah, leave no trace as always. I mean, around the corner, some disposable barbecues people have left. You're among if you do that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, done that. Then have a quick brew, get a pack on the back and try and cross that river without saturating my feet again. Uh, I, I dried them on the fire last night, my socks, not my feet. Well, but, um, so yeah, anyway, I've got to cross that river and then find out where I am because I did actually go off the track, trail, whatever you want to call it, yesterday to find this spot. And I walked for quite some time. Yeah, trying to find a car could be a mission. Thank you. 
All right, so this is absolute banter. So it's just starting to rain, so I've got waterproofs on. But um, my All Trails app, I downloaded it so it works offline, but for some reason it's not working offline at the minute, even though it was yesterday, which is just mint, isn't it? Because like now I actually don't know where I am. I've got a rough idea. I'm going to say rough, I mean proper rough. Um, but yeah, so I'm just, I'll check in with you in maybe an hour, maybe seven hours, who knows? Could be camping again tonight, couldn't I? Yeah, geezer, look at this. Look at him. Now then, lad, you're right, Larry. How are you doing? You sleep well? Wish he'd let me get closer, but he'll shit himself. But there he is, he's off. I mean, this shit ain't great, is it? So I've got a skirt across here. And if I fall in, I get a nice little cold plunge. Nice one. Right, let's have it. Right, so my GPS works, but doesn't work. So it doesn't show me the route that I should be on, but it shows me a rough GPS of where I am. So I think I remember where I parked my car. I mean, that's, that's a good start, Jordan. So I'm, I, if all goes well, oh, fucking hell, trees take him out, foot's fucked. If uh, all goes well, I should just have to go straight forward. Uh, and that should reach the inn that I'm parked at. I mean, the thing is, what you didn't see on camera is, I, um, I tried to jump over the river. So like there's like rocks, I'm trying to jump from one to the other. Slipped, went ass over tit, didn't get away. But in doing so, I lost my water, my last water bottle. So I actually have no water and no food really. I have a little bit of wine that I cooked with, but other than that, job's fucked, mate. Bear Grylls, where you at, son? So, fun fact that isn't that fun. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to have an obsession with sticks. I guess a lot of you did. I think that's quite a common thing for kids, isn't it? But I, like, literally every time I went into the woods, I had to take one home. My granddad never wanted me to, so my nan used to help me smuggle it into the car and that without him looking. I used to have, like, a metal bin in the back garden with loads of them, mate. Anyway, looks like I'm... Uh, Going back in time, it's like Benjamin Button, mate, because I've, I've, I've found the urge to collect sticks again. Like I said, midlife crisis or something. But like the other week, I collected one and one for me and one for my little lad and I like carved it up and stuff and put some rope on it for a handle or whatnot. Uh, and I've just come across this one just because I needed one because it's boggy as anything today. And I thought, I'm just getting a bit of a connection with it the more I walk with it. So I'll be taking it home and carving it and maybe a little ball on the, on the knob there. Don't mind me. Well, I recognise that hill up there, so that's a good sign. I'm pretty sure I went over around the other side of that yesterday. So, oh, a bit of bog. Looks like we're on the right way, right path. So we've had a bit of a detour that wasn't necessary, but we won't talk about that. But look at the view on that. Woo! I know where we are. Familiar surroundings. Car's about two minutes away, so I'm going to take the time to end the video here because uh, there's nothing else to show now. Um, so this has been the first video in a long while. I used to smash YouTube with all the gym stuff a few years back, but just found it was a lot of time for very little reward sort of thing. Like, hard to grow it in compared to, compared to Instagram or TikTok or whatever, I, I feel anyway. But I'm going to be starting to upload these as and when I feel like it, to be honest. Um, and I'd love you guys to come along with me. And it's all new to me, so if you want to drop anything in the comments that uh, you think I might need to know or could do with knowing, That'd be much appreciated. And if you want to learn with me, and I'll show you as I go, like I said, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Well, there she is. There she is. <laughs>